up, beautiful people, and welcome to the new episode of the Spoon Nets Podcast. I'm Alicia, one of your E2M trainers. And I am Wet, your other E2M personal trainer. And I'm Mandy. And today we are going to talk about springing forward into fitness. Now that it's springtime and it's more warm outside, you know, we don't have that cold weather. Uh, but a lot of times people get more active because they want to be outside more. So today we're just going to talk about some tips and tricks that you guys can start practicing in order for you to start springing forward into your fitness. So Whitney, if someone if someone wants to come up to you and say, man, you know, it's, I need to have it's warm outside, the spring is here, and I need my body to be looking snatched, you know, to prepare for the summertime. What tips and goals, I'm sorry, what tips, not goals, but what tips would you give them in order to, you know, reach after their goals? There it is. Okay, so definitely my suggestion is first that summer bodies are built in the winter. Okay, so you got to continue to work on on yourself throughout the year. But spring is right before summer. That's mm-hmm. when you're in your bikini. That's when you want to feel right. That's when you're going to the beach with your family, mm-hmm. you know, all those things. So I think it's extremely important to set some sort of goal to put yourself outside. Okay, like so that. okay. so my goal personally, and I've told you all this before, and I've mentioned into other podcasts that – I want to start, I I have started like running outside as it continues to get warmer. I'm Mm -hmm. not a runner, so I'll do like 15 minutes of sprints or or something like that. So that's my tips, to to set something outside. Get that vitamin D, Mm -hmm. you know, bring, I feel like even vitamin D being outside just helps your mood in general. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like if we go somewhere, you know, we try to sit outside and like Mm -hmm. when we have Mm -hmm. our little meetings together and you know, those types of things. So just just step outside. Don't try to open your blinds, you know, open your blinds, oh, yeah. you know, all the things and just get some vitamin D and set a goal to be outside, whether it's running, whether it's walking, whether it's walking your dog or going outside playing with your kid, playing football, you know, just, just to be active. So, yeah, that, that's, that's what I would say. Go outside. I like that because, you know, a lot of times when it's cold, that's the excuse that we give. Like, oh, it's cold, honey. I'm not going to run a day or – and a lot of times people get bored running on the treadmill. Like, I'm just be real. I do not like running on the treadmill, but I understand a lot of people do. So for me, I would also want to run more outside now that it's warm. But it's also uh, a different challenge. It's that a di- part. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Running outside is so different than running yes. on a treadmill. I will say this, too. And um, not just running outside, but you will find a lot of more activities outside. You know, we have our monthly um, meetups. I mean, our monthly meetups. So I know in the beginning of the year we had them inside because it was chilly but now we're going to be outside so like you said just enjoying the fresh air bring your family bring your friends shameless plug make sure you go to eat to <laughs> fitness on instagram to check out that uh meet up schedule and but wear yeah. deodorant please <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to say it. I had to. Y'all know I'm, I'm right in the area. Of <laughs> Lord, my- all right. So we're going to get back on topic. <laughs> and Mandy, what uh-huh. tips would you give someone who is out here having new goals uh, for this new season? Yeah, so like you, I think the first and most important step is just to make your mind up that yeah. you're going to start moving into this new healthy lifestyle or these new goals or whatever it is and commit to yourself. And then you need to make a plan to do that because yeah. because a goal without a plan is like a dream that will, you know, come and go and you won't stick to it. But you got to make a plan. So like with our clients, we recommend taking certain steps. So like start to meal prep, start to um, put – events on your calendar, put workouts on your calendar, like maybe schedule every Saturday, you're going to go do a hike talking about getting outside. I mean, it's just all Mm -hmm. about like doing things, especially as we get into spring and there's more, uh, outdoor activities, you can get more social with your workouts too, Mm -hmm. which I really love. Like what's not to love about going to hike, uh, is it Kramer mountain? Crowder's Mountain. Crowder's Mountain. Crowder's Mountain. Crowder's Mountain. Go do a quick little hike. It's not that far. It's not a steep incline. Anybody can do it. And there's greenways everywhere. Yeah, there's greenways here out Mm -hmm. in Fort Mill. I mean, there's just so many more things you can do and Mm -hmm. do socially. So your workouts can be really fun and interactive. And um, I really love that as just a change. Mm Because like you said, it's easy to get bored just walking on the treadmill. Even if you do a class, you know, a lot of people like the, the popular classes for treadmills and bikes. Mm-hmm. Um, but <laughs> no plug there. <laughs> but right. um, just, you know, <laughs> get out there and do it. And then you make your plan and you bite it off in digestible pieces. So mm-hmm. if you're not like somebody that's like, I just got to go, uh, you know, all or nothing. Because y'all know I preach all or something. So mm-hmm. just do something. Um, bite it off in chewable pieces. So yeah. 
do it, you know, a little by little and then just do something today mm -hmm. because you're going to feel that sense. It's like a checklist. So when you start to check something off your list, you're like, I didn't work out today. Aren't mm -hmm. you proud? My mom does this. She's like, I went to spin class today. And she's so pumped to tell me. So there's that sense of achievement and accomplishment yeah. that you will feel great about, which will motivate you to do more. Absolutely. Totally I like agree. That. I like yes. that. Well, with this new season and we're talking about making plans and having new goals, do you guys have any <clears throat> new goals personally with this new springtime season? Ooh. I don't know. I stay pretty on top of my goals. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of hard for me to say. I feel like I know myself well enough to know that I know what I need. I know how to keep my mental health going. I know how to keep, <clears throat> you know, I know, you know, I just have a schedule. Like, just like we've talked about, you, you're you on top of your schedule all the time. You're on top of your schedule. Like, us holding each other accountable, just take Cammy to school. You know, then I do this. You know, we got our lot. You know, just anything being laid out that way. I feel like so pretty much I making pretty much sure you're stay staying on top yeah, of yours. Yeah, just consistency, yeah. and that's a good goal. Being yeah. consistent is yeah. a great goal. I, yeah. I stay on top of mine. I think we all do. Yeah. I don't think we let ourselves slip very much. I don't think we have a choice. Much. Yeah. So, <laughs> no. so, and, and, I mean, on the camera. <laughs> yeah, when you stop, it's a slippery slope to yeah. let it slip and slip and slip. But my goal okay. for this year, I really want my legs to get more shredded. You've been saying that. You've been saying that. So I'm okay. really focusing on it. I've already started. Okay. You know, I know <clears throat> that now I'm lifting legs twice a week, you know, different types of lift rep ranges and things. So like, that's my goal for this year. Um, I have a big birthday this year. So I want to be in like peak shape just to give myself that challenge. Mm. So that is my goal for this year. I might need y'all to Mandy stays in Kick peak me. shape. <laughs> she stays. I do, but she let her girl yeah, have her goals. Yeah. No, she yeah, does good. I, she does. I mean, we all do, yeah. but it's important to still have those goals and For still sure. have yeah. things that you want to work on, even if it's not a physical goal. Like it might be, y'all know I'm always chasing after a pull up because mm -hmm. I can do a couple and then I forget that that's my goal and I slip back a little bit. So like I'm always chasing after being able to like knock these pull ups out. So mm -hmm. like that is something that just keeps me going and keeps me motivated. I'm like, well, I can't skip the gym today because I got this goal in front of me. Yeah. So um, that's another thing. Like, don't forget your goals. Write yeah. it on a post-it note. I am a post-it oh, note. Yeah. Honey, I have it in the book, in my agenda, good. in my notes. Yep. I have to tell y'all. Put yourself a reminder on like, your phone. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Well, I like that. For, for me, um, I know my goal is a little different. You know, guys have been trying to like, you know, gain a little bit, but also trying to still keep you know, look at the snatch, you know, mm -hmm. at the same time. So I'm still on that. I finally, um, and again, the thing is weight, the the number on the scale has never been the goal for me. It's more so the the look, right? But at the same time, I had this goal set for myself just to keep things spicy. Like you said, it's like, yeah, we all, we, we're, we work out, we eat, sleep, breathe, work out, eat right, all the good stuff. So I had to set these goals for myself so I can kind of have something to work towards and be excited about it. Uh, so I finally reached my 150. Um, but it's it's interested, interesting to say that I was like, oh, okay. I didn't I don't know what it looked different in my mind. <laughs> you know, yep. so now that I just have goals of being stronger and uh I share with you guys my upper body uh strength. Like sometimes I, I love doing legs. Y'all know that I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do upper body, then next thing you know, it's in a bend a leg day. I don't know how it <laughs> happens, but it happens. Um, so well, your I, legs are great. I so, appreciate it. Yeah. I appreciate it, you know. But I, I am trying to continue to get stronger, upper body, and just being more consistent, which I have been, so I'm proud of myself for that. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, so my goal is to continue to <clears throat> uh, get to my weight gain goal, uh, which is, I know, different than what we cater to with our clients. But uh, for me personally, that, but still making sure I'm doing it in the, appropriate way and still eating the healthy foods that we should be eating Correct. and uh yeah getting stronger getting stronger each and every day so and being punctual yeah. <laughs> you know what though I have to say like and I noticed in both of you guys when we've been doing the upper body workouts and the hot box like you guys have made really big progress so oh, if, yeah. you, if you haven't noticed it in yourself you should because oh, I have I, I see like, you, okay I'm, I'm, yeah, I know. I, girl, you're strong. Thank like, you. yeah, you are really strong. Y'all yeah. have noticed. really picked up a lot of definition in your upper body because y'all know me. I'm I'm the Mandy Arms. Like, <laughs> I kind of got that part. I maintain that part, but I'm not working to grow as much. But right. I have seen big growth in both of you. Oh, so thank appreciate you. Yeah. acknowledgement. Y'all are getting there. Hey, hey. Right. hey. be careful. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, all right. So, uh, Mandy, you gave great tips, and uh, Whitney, you did as well. I guess tips for that I would give someone. 
we're talking about springing forward into fitness is, you know, when the springtime comes and everybody talks about spring cleaning and you say, oh, I got to spring clean, you know, whether yes. that's purging your closet, whether that's doing just a, a deep clean of your home. But I think it's important that we uh, spring clean our nutrition. Yeah. And mm. what I mean by that is during the winter months, a lot of holidays come with that. And sometimes we'll do good. We we'll eat healthy. We, we'll, you know, stay on track. And then Thanksgiving come around and then Christmas come around and then New Year's come around and Valentine's, Valentine's Day come around. And it's all these things where you have more sweets, uh, especially if you're in the South, you have like, you know, those dishes that are just that traditional dish. And sometimes once you di- uh, kind of like dip into that, it never leaves and it finds its way in your refrigerator more than you would have liked for Correct. it to be. So it's like, oh, well, you know, these unhealthy foods are now in your cabinets or whether it's like leftover snacks or whatever the case is, you're having functions, people bring stuff. And I'm really talking from experience, but <laughs> it's like, I, yeah, like take this stuff with y'all, I'm not eating it. But so I think it's important for um, people to just spring clean their cabinets, making oh, sure that you are... That. Uh, getting rid of the snacks and unhealthy things that you know that you probably just had in there for the holidays or if you did host a function. Or your people, weakness. Yeah, people like bought stuff. It, it happens. It, yeah. it happens during the holidays. You have those comfort foods. It's cold. It's winter. You know, pumpkin spice, everything. Not saying it's bad, but you know, sometimes pumpkin spice start being in everything. You be no. like, nah, and, wait when a you're, minute. When you're a parent, it's, <laughs> it's double because uh, Halloween is a candy holiday. Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day is a candy holiday. Easter is a candy holiday. So honestly, we spring cleaned last week, Kyra and I. We cleaned out her whole stash of all this. Ca- I mean, we had like old stuff in there, but I just hadn't cleaned it out. Yeah. And well, so she don't really get that stuff. No, so she gets like a little treat. You got to think she's in school. They're probably yeah. sending stuff home. Exactly. So much stuff. Yeah. So we, I let her choose. What do you want to keep? And you can keep whatever fits into. We have a little candy jar. You can fit whatever oh, fits into this candy jar. And so, like, that's a good way for you to not want to dip into their treats, too. Because, like, that's their jar of treats. Mm. And, yeah, so spring clean their stuff, too. Yes. They are not going to miss it. Did y'all see the uh, when the client that reached out and she was like, okay, I'm a teacher. And how am I going to go about getting all these treats from my students mm-hmm. for Valentine's mm. Day? What am I going to do with it? What are y'all doing with it? You know, just asking, you know, other people that she's connecting with. So... I, of course, reached out and was just like, hey, you know, leave it in the break room or, yeah. you know, you know, somebody's goals may be different than yours. So, yeah. you know, she that type of thing. She a lot of good thing. tips on that. Yeah, mm-hmm. she did. She, she had a lot of good tips. So I was like, okay, that's kind of, that's kind of cool. And, you know, if you, I feel like if we are a part of E2, I'm like, I feel like you would bring Kiki's teachers something healthy. You yeah. know what I mean? Like if. You know. They get they get little cups from me. I they know, get or it is spa it, treatment. It doesn't. Yeah, I, I was just gonna say it doesn't always have to be food. I think it's just what has exactly. always happened. It's just like okay, well, the coffee mug. Now I'm <laughs> gonna bring you. I'm gonna bring you snacks. I'm gonna bring you treats because that's just what we knew. You know. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, so definitely spring clean your cabinets and your fridge, and also. With it being more spring, you have your farmer's markets that's open. So Mm -hmm. you can even get creative with going places like that because, you know, prices aren't as high, you know. um, At the farmer's market. Right. It's really good. (laughs) So you can even um, just take advantage of being able to get your produce and all those things without having to break an arm and a leg because y'all know these eggs right now. (laughs) Oh, my Carrying that Louis Vuitton, Look, those chickens. You got the chickens. I'm about to start getting my, ch- my eggs from Whitney. I you know, got the chickens. I yet, know, right? Listen. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Listen, all right. We ain't gonna talk about no eggs right now, but them things are ten dollars. <laughs> ten dollars. Nine. Like $10. three of us. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah. So, and another tip that I would give, um, just kind of because it is a new season, I feel like it's a great time to transition your energy and your focus. And a lot of times, like you said, we set goals January 1st. These are our goals. And I think it's a great time to just, all right, go back to your initial goals and let's revamp them if you need to. I think sometimes we set goals and we feel like, oh, these are the goals that I have. So these are the goals I have to stick to, even though you may be doing those goals and doing the things like, well, wait a minute, I kind of don't want to do this. But because I said it on January 1st, I have to do this. Like, no, it's okay to change your goals. It's okay to Mm -hmm. make um, changes when you need to Correct. and so I think it's gonna be a good time to just kind of go back look at the goals you set for yourself and be like okay what do I need to tweak and a lot of people who said I always tell people too I'm not a big um I don't know advocate for having a weight loss goal uh because 
you know, we fluctuate so much. I always say Correct. like a range, maybe. Yeah. Especially not as just, a woman. Yeah, not a women particular especially. number. So like, okay, if you're like, oh, I want to be 145. Okay, you want to be 145. You can say 145 to 150 or 140 to 145. Like it's, but that way people want feel bad when they go up and down, up and down. Just, and also not, that, not necessarily just that number, but a look. Aesthetically, Correct. how do you want to look when you South look in Park. the mirror? Yeah, yes. like for me, it's like, okay, I'm looking in the mm-hmm. mirror and I'm not, critiqued in myself like oh I don't like this I don't like this it's like no it's like oh I, I like this but you know what like you said yeah. my legs are nice but you know I can get a little straight yeah. like you know still compliment yourself when you want to make changes I think always. um my I'm gonna always encourage people to make sure they have a positive mindset of how they speak on themselves and not being negative yeah. um, so just because you want to change things and you want to look better doesn't mean you have to be negative towards yourself and so, that it's not gonna happen overnight that part wrong. that is like today. How, yeah. I know I felt like that was at the tip of your tongue because yeah. it's not not going to happen overnight Mm -mm. and if you're not going to be consistent with what you're doing it's not going to work you can't just say oh I feel fluffy this day let me take this away that's not or or I I over ate and then I'm gonna do all these crazy workouts like yeah you you can't work off your meal just yeah move forward and and the thing is for people who if this you know is speaking to you is like oh dang I used to do that want to encourage you to understand the importance of knowing how nutrition works, how your workouts work, but we don't eat to uh, reward ourselves and we don't work out to punish ourselves. Exactly. So make sure you understand the difference because Amen. if you, you know, but if you have that mindset of like, oh, I did this, so now I need to work out. Like, no, because you don't want to have that negative relationship with working out and you don't want to have a negative relationship with eating either. So just yes. making sure overall, like you said, making plans, making goals, getting outside. We have, you know, get that vitamin D. We have the sun now. And like I'm saying, just, you know, making sure your nutrition is good and making sure your mindset is good. So with that being said, guys, we're coming to our end of this, of today's episode. But I, again, want to encourage you all to make sure that you are still Staying in tune with your goals, and we are going to be here to encourage you each and every episode (laughs) to help you spring forward to your fitness goals. But thank you so much, and make sure before you leave to hit that subscribe button. God bless, guys. Bye.